Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the live Power Hour. Um, we're going to do Power Pockets tonight. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Justin Hickox, and uh, I feel very, very, very fortunate to be able to uh, share with you guys um, in the Diamond Code group uh, a little bit about what we do. Um, Deanna's not here, so I'm going to be kind of explaining what both of us do um, and then walking you guys through the process. So I know you guys have heard the, the Power Hour before. Um, Deanna and I... We both work full-time jobs. So like many of you, we're really busy. We don't have time to do our two hours roughly for us of work in a two hour block all the time. So what we do is we break it up into smaller sections and do it throughout the day. And so what we're gonna do is walk through this process um, with you guys today and I'll kind of share when we do it. Um, but the actions are the same as what, if you've been following the diamond code, um, the the poll for each day that where you give the action steps, where you give the action steps on what to do and when to do it on what days. Um, if you've been following that, you'll see that the, the actions are the same. Like, for instance, I'm going to touch real quickly at the end today on follow-ups, although we do them on Saturdays. So I'm not going to get deep into actually having people go through the follow-up process, but I do want to touch on it at the very end. But if you've been following that, um, you're going to see that we do all the same stuff. We just don't do it all at once. We break it up into times that really power pockets at work for us that, you know, that's the point of what the beautiful thing about Beachbody is we get at work in times that make sense for us, right? And so for many of us, that's also going to mean finding time for the family, okay? Um, we do want to make sure that we're finding time for our family and that we're not spending all day on the phone. And that's really the point of these power hours is to not just do our work, but to learn how to do it efficiently so that we don't waste time doing what we think is work, right? And that's what I'm guilty of. I, I, FYI, I say all this stuff because I've done it a million times and I'm totally guilty of it. So I'm not coming down on you guys. I'm telling you what I've been through. And uh, I think every coach has gone through this. Um, so we're going to start out with, uh, with basically the two things that are the most important to our business, right? Most important to business growth. And I'm going to be frank with you guys. I was going through all of those posts, um, those checklists in the Diamond Code. And I will tell you, these two things are consistently done by the, or checked off, if you will, at least by the least amount of people. So in all of those things that we need to do each day, right, the top, like 30 people will check off that they drank their shake and did their workout. And you move down the line and it gets down to 13 or 14 or 12 or less people that do these two things, which are inviting to the coach opportunity and inviting to challenge groups. These two things. So with that said, and it actually, to be completely honest, um, I personally don't have a problem. I enjoy inviting to the coach opportunity. My wife, actually, it makes her very uncomfortable. So it's something that she started doing at the very, very, very beginning. It's like the first thing we do. If you haven't read the book, Eat That Frog, let's read that book because it really does make sense. And so what we're going to start off today with is uh, um, we're going to start off with coach invites. That's going to be the very first thing we do. I'll tell you right now that Deanna and I wake up. We're up at 4.30 in the morning. We go, we eat, we get ready to work out. We work out at five. And then uh, uh, during our workout, we're figuring out our posts. We usually do a little video while we're doing, uh, uh, while we're actually having our energize and stuff is when we'll do an Insta story. If you guys are using Instagram, so we'll do a quick Insta story um, about the, uh, uh, about the energize or, you know, not naming it, right. But just kind of showing it, maybe it's just talking and stirring it, right. It's just something there. Um, and then we go to the garage, we do our workout and we'll usually try to, John is much better at this than I am, if I'm honest. Um, she'll film a video, set up a camera and film a video of the workout. And so we start thinking about what we're going to post in that morning. So we're kind of breaking all those things down because these are all things that we have to do anyway, right? So we start thinking about those posts. Then after that, we move into, once we get done with the workout, actually making that post. Um, usually I will actually add friends, which we'll talk about here in a second. I'll add friends while I'm waiting for the shower to get warm. Like random times are just very quick, right? But the first thing that we do now is we go straight into Coach Invite. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to Coach Invites right now. We're going to spend only five minutes on it. And the reason being is because it's going to be very simple and it's going to be uh, kind of, I don't want to say systematic, but you're going to learn that everything we do in that Diamond Code group is on purpose. All the timing for the posts on what day we say to post is all on purpose, right? So the Coach Invites, you're going to go to either – um, you can invite people that if you still got a dream team that you haven't spoken with, some of us have been in coaching for a little bit longer. They've probably gone through a lot of their original dream team and they're adding people to it. Um, but just think about people that you want to travel with, people that you want to spend time with, people that you are, uh, uh, you know, that, that inspire you, people that are positive, that you constantly see positive stuff on their page, people that are into fitness. So a lot of people are scared to invite personal trainers. I personally love it. I think 
that's an incredible opportunity for personal trainers, right? So look for those people. If you, in your mind, you're like, you know, I don't have any of those people that I see right this moment. Um, another place is if you've got current challengers, go straight to your current challengers. Find current challengers that you've got in a group if you're currently working with them, and then start talking to them about it, right? You can invite them. Um, you can also go to uh, anybody. So if you've been following the post schedule, you'll notice that there's a lot of breadcrumbing, coach breadcrumbing posts. You go back and pick two people that liked, commented on those posts in any way, and you send them, send them a, uh, uh, a, uh, an invite, right? Basically what an invite is going to look with, I'm going to share with you guys every invite literally that we use um, so that you guys can see exactly what, what ours look like. I'm going to share basically everything I have here. So um, I'm going to share all of this in the chat. So feel free to go ahead and look at it um, for coaching posts. And this is going to be a lot of it. So you have to find, I'll show you where the, uh, uh, let me see. Sorry guys. I'm just get, making sure that I don't get so much in here. Okay. These are a lot of invites. So I'll, I'll tell you which one is the actual uh, coach invite that we usually use, but I'm going to share all of them. So you guys have all of them at once. I thought I was going to share it. Paste. Can I do it like this? Okay. Let me try to do this again. It's not letting me copy and paste. What is the deal? Okay, it won't let me. So I'm gonna read it to you guys and uh, I'll just tell you basically what it says. All you're gonna say is, uh, if it's somebody that's liked your post, all you're gonna say is, you know, hey, I wanna thank you so much for sharing, you know, showing me some love on my post or showing me the support on my post. I truly appreciate it. You know, I always say it doesn't fall on deaf ears. It really means a lot to me, I, you know, I thank you for it. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you're just, if it's a post about coaching, I don't know if you're just showing me support or if you're curious, but have you ever been curious about doing what we do online? Is that something that you might be open to hear more about, right? Open, open to hearing more about. Um, if you watched Alicia's video this today on how to invite um, to the coaching opportunity from Instagram, it's the same thing for Facebook or Instagram. The conversation is very, very, very like simple and non uh, intrusive. It's just thank you. The framework is thank you so much for liking what I'm doing or for showing me support. I think you'd be amazing. Have you ever been curious about doing what we do or doing what I do as a side business? Are you open to hearing more, right? Using that phrase word of, are you open to learning more? Are you open to hearing more? Um, like she said, and it is true, when you say things like, are you open to, people want to be open to things. They don't want to feel closed, right? Or like they're too close-minded. So that's easier for them to say yes, right? So go now. We're going to spend five minutes. Just go now to your post, go to somebody and just send that message. Very simple. And then when you're done, just kind of hold your hand up for me. But I'm going to give us five minutes right now. And if you have any questions about it, throw them in the chat or uh, feel free to unmute yourself and ask.
everybody about done? Everybody doing good? Thumbs up? If you're still working, I'll tell you, we've got uh, about 30 seconds left. Um, let's see. Let's see, does the post, okay, let's back up here. Um, I'm sorry, Amy, I just saw, I just saw that. We're inviting to the uh, coach opportunity. So go to anybody that you have uh, spoken to before that you would like, it's kind of on your dream team, right? People that you think you would want to travel with, hang out with, people that inspire you, people that are positive, people that have been, uh, um, you know, for you. So maybe somebody, maybe it's somebody that you've had in your fitness class before that you really, really, really enjoyed being around that you know is clearly in the fitness, right? Something like that. Um, you can invite them and you just say something really simple like, you know, uh, um, hey, if they've liked a post or something, you would say, hey, thank you so much for showing me the love. Um, I post, I really truly appreciate it. You know, have you ever been curious about doing what I, what I do online? I think you'd be amazing at it. Are you open to, to uh, are you open to that at all? You know, and uh, uh, just copy and paste it. It's really super simple, really quick. Don't overthink it. Find two people, send a message, ignore, you know, don't, don't worry about the outcome. Um, and then, uh, the post doesn't have to be coaching relevant, Patrick, but it, it, uh, you can invite anybody that, that you personally, um, want to work with. Like do recognize guys that if we're inviting people, if you see somebody and they're like super negative and they just don't look like your tribe at all, understand that what you're doing is a big deal and it is something that we get to offer people and it's an incredible opportunity and you being part of your team and being part of your family is a big deal. It's not something that we should take lightly. And honestly, if it's somebody that you don't resonate with, don't feel bad of saying, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to invite this person. With that said though, don't prejudge people either, right? So don't just assume this person would never want to do it, right? That's why I say, ignore that. Do you think that you would like to hang out with them? Are they somebody that you get along with, somebody that you can connect with, somebody that you want to travel with, somebody that you want to lock arms with to do this, if you think that, great, you send them that message and don't overthink it, right? And just keep it super simple. Um, and yeah, Cassandra, you've already got a yes. Come on now, really? Look at you. All right, so we'll talk offline and I'll tell you what to do from that point, um, which is just connect them with the, with the coach opportunity group that we've got coming up. So, okay, so we've done that. Um, now we're just going to move into the next scary thing, right? That's the most important thing. That's the least thing that's been done. It looks like so far, uh, which is challenge group invites. Okay. So we're going to do 10 of these because that's what we've got scheduled. So 10, it's going to, we're going to give ourselves 10 minutes and here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go to people that you've already started conversations with. We're going to go to people that have liked one of your fitness posts, liked or commented on it, right? Anybody that, uh, uh that you have spoken to or that you have, uh, so if you've invited them a long time ago, me personally, if it's somebody that I invited months ago and I haven't spoken to them since, I will look at that like a new invite. Not all coaches will, some do, some don't. I will look at that like an invite, not as much as a follow-up. If it's somebody I've invited in the last month or so, to me, that's a, that's a follow-up. Or even the last two months, that's still a follow-up in my book. So I still consider that a follow-up. Um, but nonetheless, if you've got somebody you haven't talked to in a long time, you can talk to them as well. And the challenge group invites look very similar to the coach invites in the fact that they're, they're, uh, um, they're very uh, non-aggressive, if you will, and very, you know, non, non-pushy. So the reason, the way ours looks right now, or the one that I use um, is uh, if they've, if they've liked a the post, right. And about coaching or about uh, fitness, then it's the same thing. It's the, Hey, thank you so much for showing me the love or showing me the support on my, uh, on my post. I, I truly appreciate it. And uh, it'll be like, Hey, you know, I have no idea if this would be for you or not. Either way is totally cool. Um, you know, but my, uh, I always say my wife and I, because it's my wife and I, right. So you just say, I'm, you know, I've got a group that, uh, I'm going to be a part of starting here pretty soon. It's an online health and fitness group. It's going to be super fun. And I would personally love to have, you know, um, somebody, you know, some more people to keep me, uh, to keep me, hold me accountable. And I can do the same for you. Is that anything, or I I'll usually end it with, do you or anyone, you know, want to be a part of that? Right. And the reason I say, would you or anyone, you know, because I want them to, if they don't want to be a part, I don't want the conversation to end there. I want the opportunity for them to be like, you know what? And sometimes I get that, you know, I don't know if it's for me. I kind of do cross start right now, but I've got a friend that actually has been talking about something. I'll connect you guys. Right. So I like to use that, but it's just really like, Hey, you know, uh, this is random and, uh, or, you know, Hey, thanks. And this might not be for you. It's totally cool. Either way, I just want to let you know, I've got this group starting 
and I'm really excited about it. You know, it's a, it's a private online health and fitness group. And, uh, uh, you know, I would love to have some more people help me keep accountable and we can do the same thing for, you know, I can do the same thing for you. Is that anything that you'd be interested in jumping in on? Or do you know anyone else that would be, you know, and we'll just keep it really simple. So go to 10 people now and we're going to take 10 minutes and we're just going to, you can use the same in night guys for multiple people. You don't have to fully customize it for each individual person. Okay. The customization the the, the personalization will come in the conversation after the invite. So don't feel like it's all just copy and pasted. You're going to be okay. Just the point is, however you do it to get 10 out and to do this important part of the, the process, do it. Whatever works for you, do that. If anybody in the group, any of you, because uh, um, there's some coaches in here that have been doing it for a while, any of you guys have some invites or anybody that's got invites that's been working for them, throw it in the chat section so that we can take a look at it. And uh, uh, But we're going to start that now. Does anybody have any questions about that? Dusty does? What do you got? You want me to unmute you? What's up? I put it in the little list. Oh, uh, in the chat? I didn't like it yet. You got to read. <laughs> um, so what, yeah, I can't read. Come on. Don't give me that kind of, don't put me under that kind of pressure. Um, so guys, let's start and I'll let Dan, Dusty, I'll, I'll answer your question here. Um, so we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes now. Uh, so, okay. So, uh, what type of script? If we've already got a group growing, I, it doesn't matter if I get a group growing or not. I, and I usually don't even say a date. I don't say I've got one starting on this date. I want to jump. I want to, you know, I do. I say we've got a group starting soon. I'm in a group starting soon, right? And I use that because I want it, because at the end of the day, I know personally, and I don't know how all coaches do this, right? Deanna and I personally, I will plug somebody in at any given time. It doesn't have to, don't, we don't have to start on the same day unless it's a very specific, like 80 day obsession group where it's everybody starting that program on the same day. The other groups that we run are more often than not multi-program. I'll plug somebody in a week into it, it's okay. And if it's, since we only run about four weeks, right? Or sometimes even three at the actual workout, right? Uh, I know that, Hey, if it's two weeks out, it's going to take a week for them to get their stuff. And then it's going to take a few days for them to go through it. And I can just say, connect with me. We'll go through it. And then we'll start them a few days later. It's not a big deal. So don't ever worry about that. It's the same script every single time for me. Yeah, exactly. I don't know who's on iPhone, but yes, <laughs> oh, this is iPhone. But yes, same script. Instead of saying every group starting, just say I have a group. Oh, okay. So that's Deanna on iPhone. Yes, Deanna, you're right. <laughs> Weird.
Patria asked a good question. She said, do you invite people you haven't really talked to as well? Um, so there are coaches that do cold invites. I personally don't love to do that unless it's like a real, real heavy push. Um, more often than not, at the best results come from people that you've already created that little bit of a relationship with. So uh, um, I would start with the people that you have had some sort of conversation with, even if it says, and we'll get into that actually, that's the next thing we're going to do is starting new conversations. Um, so ideally it would be somebody that you've had some sort of interaction with before. So it isn't so cold. So yeah, you can mute yourself. You have to mute yourself too.
How's everybody doing? You guys still need more time? Are you, you good? Thumbs up if you're good. Give me a thumbs up if, if you're good. Everybody, a couple are still working on it. Maybe go just one more minute and give a few people the time to just kind of catch up. I know 10 is a lot, but. Okay, we're gonna to move to uh, the new conversations. Okay, this is the next thing. So first of all, so uh, like, if you were struggling with getting the 10 done in that time frame, um, I think what you're gonna find is the more you do this stuff, the more you're gonna get kind of used to it and it's gonna be a little bit easier. But a big time saver, honestly, guys, is just the simple idea that you're, if you're posting on purpose, right? If you're posting, following the posting schedule and doing that stuff, you're gonna have people to talk to, especially if you're starting those new conversations. So if we're starting new conversations every day and we're looking um, and we're sorry, we're logging it, right? So we're tracking what we're doing. Then every day we should be, it should be pretty easy to go back to the day before or to a couple of days prior and invite from even that list. So we don't have to rely on even to the new posts. And if for some reason that list doesn't uh, have enough in there for you, you want to invite more then you move to your posts and you can invite from your posts or anything else as well. Um, so I think you're gonna find out when you realize you just go, okay, I'm just gonna basically use this invite, copy and paste it. Those 10 invites are gonna go much quicker. So what you'll find is you can break that up into times where it's like maybe that's the, you know, hey, uh, I just spend 10 minutes and I do this while I'm cooking breakfast or, you know, while I'm waiting for, like I said, like I'm waiting for the shower to heat up. So I'm just gonna spend five minutes and I'm just gonna bang out five of these real quick and then move on. So try to find the times, but just find time, right? It doesn't have to be in, in all at one time. Um, so the the next important thing is uh, the new conversations. So there's a few places you can find new conversations. You can go to your recently added friends. We should be, and that's what we'll do next. We should be adding new friends, building our network every day anyway. So um, if you're using Facebook, you can go to new friends, uh, recently added friends on your friends list. Look at those. I usually just go to those and I open up all the new ones I haven't spoken to in different little windows. And then I go through each window, right? And I get most of them from there. Um, if there's not enough to equal the 10 that I need to, to um, connect with, uh, I can go to, uh, uh, to any new people that may have liked any of my posts that I haven't spoken to. When I say new, meaning that I haven't spoken to them in a long time or maybe even ever, right? More often than not ever. Um, old friends that I haven't spoken to forever, right? So an easy way to do it is, and I need to look at how to do this again, guys, it's been a long time. You can YouTube how to print out your Facebook friends list and you can actually print all of your friends list and literally go through it name by name in alphabetical order and start conversations that way for the people you haven't talked to. So that's another place you can find them, um, find people to chat with. Or uh, if you're on Instagram, you can start conversations with anybody, again, that's liked any of your posts, anybody that's watching your Insta stories, um, you know that you can check and see who's looking at them, who's watching them, send them a private message. And uh, uh, the, the new conversations are really, really, really simple. We just overthink them, okay? They can be as simple as, and you just met somebody, hey, you know, I really appreciate the, uh, the ad. You know, I love connecting with like-minded people, looking forward to, to seeing more of your posts and learning more about you. It doesn't have to, it's not about Beachbody. It's not about uh, uh, trying to do anything other than just start the relationship. Just kind of put yourself on the radar. Think of it as you walk into a party, you don't know people, you look over, you see somebody, you go, what would I compliment them on? Hey, nice jacket. It's all your, nice jacket, I love it, where'd you get it? Right, you ask them a question. It's really, really, really simple, so just don't overthink it. You can uh, um, go to their, it doesn't have to be in a private message, although it, I, I think I don't know that that's best, but um, I prefer it at some point to private message them before we invite them, right? So if that means you go to their Facebook page and you look at their Facebook page and you find a post and you just comment on the post, I mean, that resonates with you, right? That's reasonably recent. So it doesn't look like you scrolled six months back to comment on something, right? But you, you look at their post and you say, just make a quick comment. Ideally, you'd ask a question, right? To start in some engagement. But if not, you just, you know, just, uh, uh, 
make a comment and then log that as a new as a new conversation or send them a private message and ask them about maybe their profile photo, right? I personally believe that everybody puts their profile photos and their banner photos on purpose. It's not by accident. So ask them a question about that. You know, hey, where'd you take that photo? It's, it's a beautiful banner photo. Or, hey, how old are your kids? Or, hey, you know, whatever it is, just find something simple, right? Um, so we're gonna spend, you know, we're gonna spend five, 10 minutes right now and we're gonna start 10 new conversations with new people. Does anybody have any questions about that? Let's see the chat here. Okay, if you don't have any questions, just jump in that, and then uh, if you have questions, throw them in the chat box.
Okay, guys, you got about four minutes left. Sorry, Cassandra. Yes, it can actually be on their post. It doesn't have to be in a private message. A, a private message would be kind of ideal, to be honest. But um, with that said, just starting that interaction is really what is the point. Two minutes. Being timed is good, Cassandra. Just know that it's it's a it's important. We we actually should be aware. I mean, even if you don't give yourself a time limit, guys, to how long it takes you or how long you have, you should time how long it, you're spending, right? Because at least then um, you kind of have some perspective on how much my how much time. Because so here's the thing: these are the only things we absolutely have to do every day. To actually, these are like the fundamental grow business things, right? These and follow ups. Um, so knowing like, okay, this is my business. Like this is what grows for me. How much time am I actually spending on this versus how much time am I spending hanging out online, scrolling Facebook or how I'm, you know, scrolling my challenge group that I should be going in like once a day at the very end of the day or whatever to comment on people. But instead, you know, this is what we do. We'll have tendency to spend all day in there commenting, responding to every FYI guys. If you're getting messages right now in response, it's okay. Don't respond to them. Turn it off. Ignore it time efficiency, right? At the end of the day, then you go in at, at night at some point and you respond to the messages. You spend 20 minutes responding, 
you set the phone down, you turn it off, you throw it away, whatever you got to do, you get rid of it and you move on with your time with your family and your night. So don't spend, don't feel the need like we all do feel the need to respond to everybody. The second they send you a message, it's going to be okay. And in fact, when you do that, you're teaching them how to treat you. You're teaching them to expect that if you don't respond immediately, you're doing something wrong and that's not fair to you and it doesn't set them up well either. So Get with, back to them within a 12-hour period, but don't be stressed out about having it done, or 24 hours, don't be stressed about having it done immediately. Um, let's jump into uh, new friends, building our, building our networks, and inserting new friends. So um, we're just gonna spend five minutes and we're gonna be done. Spend five minutes doing this. This is something that we literally, like I will literally do, like I said, when I'm sitting on the, uh, uh, or when I'm waiting for uh, uh, the shower to heat up. Deanna does it while she's going to the bathroom, FYI. She said that, that's why I said sitting on there, I was thinking about her. But she literally does, she's like, while I'm going to the bathroom, I will actually add friends to my, like, but that's the point, right? It's just t time efficiency, right? Um, I'll do that, I, when I, I listen to personal development in the car ride, right, I plug it in so I don't have to read, because I won't spend time reading it, right? So that's when I do that. And uh, on my way home is when I'll voice message and respond to messages in traffic on the way home, because I got a 30 minute to an hour drive. So that's when I'll respond to my messages. So when I get home, I don't have to deal, deal with anything. So try to find those pockets of time where you can't be doing anything else. You might as well utilize them for something like this. Um, new friend requests. So there's a few different ways you can do it. Um, you can join groups that are important to you, right? If you join groups, first of all, interact in the group before you ever invite or send any sort of friend requests or private messages. Start interacting in the group, start that rapport. Do not go in the group and just friend request everybody or start sending people messages. Most groups actually won't even allow that, but also it just, people don't react well to it, right? So they don't respond well. So go in there, start interacting with the group a little bit, and as you interact and you see people that are in your tribe, right, they kind of respond to your comments and stuff, those are the people that you add friends, so add those as friends. Um, Another place you can find new friends is to actually go to the, if you're on Facebook, go to the Facebook friend request or the um, people you may know, right? Go through there. I tend to look at them real quick. I look at their profile photo. So here's the thing. Find the people that are in your tribe. Like, look at the photo. I mean, this is, sounds kind of terrible, but look, like, I personally look for people that are smiling. Like, I want to see a photo, like a clear photo of somebody that's smiling because to me, it tells me at least they're probably a happy individual if it's like a, kind of a, like a, you know, like you know, middle fingers to the sky kind of photo. And it's probably not going to be my tribe. I'm probably just not going to friend with you. I'm not going to spend my, spend my time looking at that. Right. Um, click it real quick on their, on their profile, scroll through it. I mean, like I'm talking two seconds, scroll through it. Do they look like your tribe? Yes. Send them a friend request. Don't overthink it. Okay. The only thing I truly do check, um, the only thing I truly do check is uh, to make sure that I'm not friends with, they're not mutual friends with a bunch of other coaches or people that are on our team or, you know, like that we, that either coaches on our team or coaches in general. So I want to make sure that that mutual friendship isn't there. Otherwise we just add them. Um, you can also go to, uh, if you, if you don't like to use that process, you can go to your friend. So find your dream team, people that you, again, people that inspire you, people that excite you, people that you, that you see that spread a lot of positivity. You can go to them and see who's interacting on their pages, right? Who's interacting on their comments. Look at those people. Right. And then what I'll have a tendency to do is I look at those people. If I see somebody that's in my tribe, I reply to their comment on a post, then I add them as a friend. So it doesn't seem totally random. It makes it a little bit smoother. And I just go, I comment real quickly on whatever they commented on and their comment I reply to them. And then I add them as a friend and it seems natural. And it allows me to, you know, I figure if they're interacting with the person that I have a high respect for, we're probably going to be in the same tribe too. Right. So you can go there. Um, you can also go if you're, uh, uh, if you're on Instagram, you can search hash, hashtags for people that, that uh, um, or things like even like brands that you like, right? And see people that are following those brands or people that follow certain people that you like. Same kind of thing. Search through their profile. It's a quick look. Take a look at it and then follow them, right? And add them that way. So that's always an option. Um, and uh, yeah, those are for, for uh, you know, uh, hashtags and then anybody that you see. Like if somebody follows you or you see somebody that you, that you just connect with or whatever, you know, somebody, you can go to like, like I said, the people and see who they're following, right. Or who's following them. And then just look at that and okay, I like this person. I like this person and Adam and just don't overthink it. So we'll spend five minutes, just add five people, 10 followers on Instagram. If you're there done, don't do a lot more than five on Facebook because if you do too many too long, Facebook can get a little irritated with that. I'm going to shut you down and that's not funny. So don't do that.
So it's been five minutes. Anybody have any questions about that? So there's a bunch of chats and I'm missing them. And if you get done early, just raise your hand. If everyone's done, I don't want to. Don't be an overachiever, Justice. That's a great question. How many people can you follow on Instagram before they get upset? Um, I honestly don't know. Do you know? I think I've heard 30, but I really don't quote me on that. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, yeah, Deanna says she thinks that she's heard 30 before, but not a, <laughs> I love that. Ask a teenager. Yeah, they would know fully. <laughs> let's ask, let's, oh, I don't know if actually. They, they wouldn't know because they actually just. Google, Google is your best friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, I probably would. I mean, yeah, I'm going to Google with that though. I just know that, I know Facebook, like, any more than five and you're risking it, you know, at the end of the day, if you do that for an extended period of time, they kind of get annoyed. Um, I've, I've looked for this before and it's actually a lot like a lot of things. There are multiple answers. So um, I think that you're pro probably pretty safe with 30. I know Instagram doesn't want you to unfollow um, like more than 50 people in an hour. Mm -hmm. um, that's why like if you're using a um, cleaner for Instagram or anything like that, you want to make sure it's not set to do more than 50 at a time because they can shut you down for stuff like that. Then they start to think you're, you know, a bot or whatever. So 
you know, like they said, keep Googling because, you know, updated information happens all the time, but it's, you're probably pretty safe with, with 30. Actually, you can do a lot more than that, but I'd say like in an hour, you're pretty safe with 30. But as far as how many people you can follow in a day, it's a lot. It's a lot different than Facebook. It's pretty big. Just got to make sure you're not doing it too fast so you don't look like a robot. And, and m most importantly, make sure that whatever, so guys, and then I'll leave you guys alone and we'll be done. The most important thing of all of this is it's a matter of doing what you can do consistently every day. So don't think of this as like, oh, well, you know, today I'm going to get out 50 invites. Tomorrow I'm going to get out five. The next day I'm not going to get out any. The next day I'm not going to get any. Then I'll do a hundred the next day. Right. You know, Jessica, we all do. We've all done that. But something that you can actually compound over time and grow by doing X amount every single day consistently, right? That is always going to be where the best results come from. Every time we do it consistent, it just makes more sense. So, you know, if you can do 20, you know, if you can follow 20 people in a day, right, every single day consistently, and, and you have the time to do that, and it doesn't start eating into the rest of your day with your family and stuff like that, right? You don't want to end up doing so much that all of a sudden you're like, okay, now I don't have any time and now I'm overwhelmed and now I feel like I'm just a slave to my phone all day, right? So figure out how much time you're willing to work and then figure out how much can I do efficiently of these things in that time frame, and then stop there until you're ready to add more or until you figure out a way that you're more comfortable and you become more efficient with it. And then you can up those invites, new conversations, follow-ups, and uh, new ads. Those are the things that we want to you know, up if we're going to be upping anything. Does that all make sense? Okay. Does anybody have any questions whatsoever before I let you guys go to the rest of your night? Everybody good? Okay. You guys have been awesome. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me here doing this power hour. If you guys have any questions, plug into the diamond code. We're here to answer anything that we possibly can. So otherwise, you guys have a really good night. Enjoy your uh, Wednesday evenings with the family. Right, I can see one little arm going just nuts with the toy. <laughs> all right, you guys have a good one, all right? We'll see you guys.